Welcome to episode 6 of the Head in the Clouds video series. I'm Ken Hartman, a SANS certified instructor and content creator for the SANS Cloud Security Curriculum. Today's episode is titled Slice and Dice Data Using Grep Head Tail Cut Sort TR Unique and WC. The purpose of Head in the Clouds is to teach foundational cloud skills and security knowledge that will help others thrive in the cloud. The content ideas come from my personal observation of skills that I see some students lacking when they show up at a SANS cloud security course. Other ideas are passed on from fellow instructors. Today's topic builds on our last episode, which was titled Tips for Success with Command Line Interfaces Using Bash. While our last episode provided useful skills for navigating the Bash shell when using a CLI, this episode is focused on manipulating the data that is returned by such commands. The commands that we will be covering are grep, head, tail, cut, sort, tr, unique, and wc. These are the commands that I use almost every day, and I highly recommend that you add them to your arsenal. To start, we must have some data to work with. And since we're building cloud security skills, let's use some data from the cloud. Amazon Web Services has a report that we can download that contains a list of all IAM users in each AWS account. This is called the Credentials Report, and it's a great way to audit user accounts. You can learn more about the Credential Report at the URL shown on screen. I have created a sample credential report that you can use to follow along as we explore the commands that I will be covering. Once you've opened a Linux terminal, you can download the file using wget as shown. Let's take a look at the file. As you can see, the first line has the headings for each column in the comma separated value, the CSV file. To get just the first line displayed to standard out, we can use the head command like so. By default, the head command will print the first 10 lines of a file unless we override it with the dash n option. In this case, we told head to print just the first line using hyphen n1. In Linux, it's a common practice to pipe the output of one command into another. To do that, we use the pipe symbol, which is the vertical bar. We will use this technique to illustrate our next command, tr. The tr command allows us to substitute one character for another. As an example, we could substitute the comma for an asterisk using the following command. Note that we can even use control characters such as tabs or line feeds. Let's rerun the command, but substitute in a line feed. There, that's much easier to read. Now, what if we only wanted to see the user, ARN, user creation time, and MFA active fields? This is where the cut command shines. When using cut, we need to tell it what character to use as a delimiter and the field numbers to return to standard output. Thus, the command we want to use is... As you can see, we pass in the delimiter using the dash D option and the fields to use using the dash F option. Now that we have selected the fields that we're interested in, we can look at all the roles by using the cat command in place of head. Let's refine our output further by including only the user and MFA active fields. Perhaps we want to generate a list of users who did not have MFA on their user accounts. In that case, we can use grep 
to return just the rows where the MFA active column contains false. Notice that by default, grep is case sensitive. For example, we will not get any results if we use lowercase false. That said, we could override this behavior with the dash i option as shown. Next, let's take another look at our list of users again. How could we remove the root account from the result set? Well, we could use the dash v option with grep. Perhaps we want to know which user, besides root, was the first to be created. How would we determine that using our command line utilities? Well, first, we need to identify the field numbers to cut. OK, it looks like we want fields 1 and 3. Let's use cut to extract them. Now let's drop the first line that contains the headings of each column. To do that, we will use a special feature of the tail command. Normally, tail works the opposite of the head command. While the head displays 10 lines of a file by default, tail displays the last 10 lines. And by the way, tail has a great option for monitoring a log file as it's being written. This is the dash F option. Remember that as F as in follow. But in our case, we want all of the lines except the first. So we will use the plus two argument as our option to the command. This tells tail to start at line two and output that line and all of the rest. So we will use this. Next, filter out the root using grep dash V. Note, we could have just had the tail command start at line three, which would have also included the line with the root account. But that makes the assumption that the root account will always be in the second line. That type of an assumption may be fine for an ad hoc analysis, but not something you would want to do when developing a script. Now, to perform the sort. Notice that the data that we're interested in sorting is in the second column. We need to tell sort to use the second column. We do that with the dash K option as follows. And if we want, we could reverse the sort order by passing in the dash R option. If you wonder how many IAM users are listed in the credential report, we could use the word count utility, WC. By default, WC prints the number of lines, words, and bytes for a file. To get just the line count, use the dash L option. And based on the results of this command, we see that we have six IAM users because the root account does not count as an IAM user. Sure, we could have hand counted these, but this utility is great when there are hundreds of lines in the output. For another scenario, let's say we want to determine how many users have MFA configured and how many do not. How could we generate these metrics? Well, first, let's revisit the prior analysis we performed on MFA. Good. Now remove the header line and the root account as before. And then let's chop off the user names. And then we sort it. And now we can pipe it into unique as shown. Well, that didn't give us the counts we were expecting, did it? Turns out we were missing the dash C option. So let's try that.
Note that the unique utility assumes that the input is sorted. To illustrate what I mean, remove the sort command. Well, that's it. Now you know some very useful command line utilities to slice and dice data. Each of these utilities has many options that we have not explored. Remember that you can always use the man page to get the details on how to use the command along with the supported options. For example, to see the options supported by the wc command, just run man wc. For all of the commands that we've ran, refer to the show notes at the URL below. If you have thoughts or comments on today's episode, feel free to chime in on the comments for this YouTube video. If you appreciate this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for another installment of Head in the Clouds as announcements of new episodes are made on the SANS Cloud Security Twitter feed. Meanwhile, be sure to check out the other great videos on the SANS Cloud Security YouTube channel. Take care.